Hello everybody. Hope you all are doing well and hope you all are staying safe. This is Dimple here again welcoming you all back to today's session on Android framework components. In my previous session I was explaining the detailed architecture of how the HIDL will flow and what are the changes made and the difference between pass through binderized what was the structure before treble after treble. In today's session we will see how this all happens in the form of code. So uh, before treble what was happening is there was a system service which is written in java and the system service which is written in c++ used to always communicate with the underlying hardware okay so how the system service written in java is converted to c++ they used to talk through jni acting as a glue so the c++ system service was the one who will interact with the different hal modules the different hardware modules this was before treble that was uh, that means it is uh, before oreo android oreo and let us see how this works in the code so let me go back to the code and let me open side by side nougat and oreo so it's easy for me to compare so this is the xref i have opened in oreo yeah now it's easy for me to compare so the left uh, the left hand side whatever i have is the nougat source code and the right hand side whatever i have is the oreo source code here i have gone to folder framework based services core java com android server and i have chosen lights and one note i wanted to mention i am following karim yoga's tutorial sessions to understand on this hidl so once i could grasp these concepts i am doing this video so that uh, whoever is still in confusion can get a better understanding and clarity so i'm in this particular folder i've chosen lights because it's easy to demonstrate the flow here and the same folder i have opened on android oreo now let me go to light manager service.java and let me search for the constructor light service so here is my constructor the same thing let me do in oreo also so here is my constructor one difference you all can see there is native init pointer init native function in this nougat and there is no init native function in oreo if we further scroll down in both the cases in nougat we see init native finalize native set light native three different functions whereas in oreo we see only set light native so the number of native methods have been reduced and in the constructor where we saw there is no native function in oreo so oreo is doing something different here it's doing the same task but in a different way first let us understand what's happening on nougat so i'll maximize this and nougat as i already told we will see which file will communicate with a hal okay so light service dot java file will communicate with light service dot cpp file through jni so let us go back to core and instead of java i am now selecting jni because jni is acting now as a bridge between java and c++ file here i can find light service dot cpp so i'll right go there and here we can see init native function so this init native is the same function which we saw in the java file so once the java file is triggered there the control just comes here and this is the important line here this is the one which does everything hardware get module so this is the line which is talking to the hal modules and fetching the different hal modules that's the flow in android nougat okay but what happens on android oreo so as we see in the diagram in android oreo hidl has been introduced and system service dot cpp file will communicate with a hidl definitions and default implementations right so for that let us now see the code how it works 
Here I have opened lightservice.java file in my Android Oreo and we see set light native. So this is the function which does everything. That means this is the function through which we communicate with the underlying HIDL. Okay. So uh, here let me traverse back and let me go back to lightservice.cpp file. JNI folder and I can see lightservice.cpp. Let me go here. Let me search for set light. So set light native is here and this set light native is calling something called associate function to communicate with light hal module. Okay. So let's go back and see what is there in associate function. I'm scrolling up. So there is something called as associate and disassociate. Here in associate function, we are using this get service, right? So uh, this get service is the one uh, where we try to get a handle of HIDL. Okay. So this will return the HAL if it exits and if there is something uh, wrong or some error occurs, it will just tell unable to return the interface light interface here so uh, see here a uh, light service dot cpp here get service is something important okay from from this get service we need to call the service of lights i mean the light service where it will go let's see that so uh, better i'll open another window so that it's more clear Here, let me go back to XREF hardware interf interfaces light 2.0 default light.cpp so i'm in the default folder light.cpp and when i call the get service there it will come your hidl fetch i light so your hidl fetch i light is again calling get light device and get light device is here the control comes here so here we are getting the hardware module this is the uh, point where we communicate with the hardware hidl okay so here we are uh, getting a handle of to all the light hal we are accessing so uh, from this function from light service dot cpp i am calling associate get service when i call this the handle will come directly to get light device so now the light system service has got the context of light um, service and now it can execute the remaining path this is how it works in oreo so we saw in nougat there was only one particular file from cpp directly we are contacting the HAL module but here we have traversed to this default folder what exactly is this default folder that is what which is explained in this diagram so this system service will no more uh, have the hold of all the header files okay so every time a new feature or a new headers are introduced system service may not uh, um, be having information about those newly included headers okay now the system service will not have glue like header files which was happening here system service will communicate with the default hidl implementation through hidl definitions and this default will communicate to hal that is what we saw here uh, this is for now good this is for Oreo. So there is a default folder which we saw in the diagram. This is the same default folder. Through this default, we are directly communicating with hardware, HAL. Okay. So uh, one thing I wanted to explain uh, here in hardware folder, we can see this interfaces. This is the uh, folder which is introduced from Oreo onwards. This is the folder which defines all the HIDLs. 
okay hardware interface definition language so here we can see different uh, folders some different hardware related folders and i'll go to light and we can see the version so every hidl release will be associated with a particular version and we can see different files like android.bp file mk file default file and um, uh, there are two hal files here types.hal and vts files so uh, these i'll go to ilight.hal file so here it will define the interface so we saw set light is the only native uh, function which was used in light service.java file so this is the interface which is defined there are no return types here just like aidl aidl will have return types but here hidl will not have any return types and get supported types that generates function we can see here and there is types.hal how all these will be generated whenever i come up with a new hal to be defined i just give the .hal file okay and i just pass this .hal file to hidl generator tool and i give few commands that hidl generation tool will uh, will generate these different files for me i just need to input the .hal file and the others will be done by the hidl uh, generator tool so we can see that every uh, component will have its own folders h i h a l h i d l folders so there is device common all these things interfaces if we go we can see if i go to sensors every uh, release will be uh, renamed after a version and if we open that version we can find all the files so in nougat uh, whatever header files we had defined uh, so let me go back to nougat so in nougat uh, there are header files defined inside hardware lib hardware include hardware lights dot h all the header files and the enums the structures the definitions all are done in this lights dot h so the same has to be used in oreo right so in oreo all this information will be available under a uh, types dot h which we saw here so whatever header files are defined those header files will now be defined under the types dot h file so the same header files we can see are mapped here in oreo so uh, this was what we saw for uh, same process or pass through method so we can see the, all this is happening in the same process there was an another improvised version called binderized where it happens in a different process so this part i will show where exactly this part happens so let me go back to my code here in my code i'll go to lights 2.0 and in the default folder i can see one file called service.cpp file so if i go to this file i can just see here another function return default pass through service so this is how it acts like in a different process through a binder it's communicating here and uh, one more uh, thing i wanted to show you all um, when this uh, exactly hal modules will be loaded okay so all that is defined in this rc file inside the default folder so there is a class hal defined explicitly so this class hal will be loaded when the initial init.rc file will be loaded so uh, that will be in xref system so i am in system core root directory where the initial rc file when the device boots up will be loaded so here if we search for hal class hal we 
we can see a uh, class start hand so that's what i wanted to go through today in the code flow i hope you understood how this diagram works i have explained how it was working in nougat and in oreo pass through as well as binderized that's all i had for today's session today's question is who is the founder of android we use android phones day in and day out and also we are learning different concepts in android in my channel so do we actually uh, know who is the founder of android yes it's andy rubin so that's why android is named after his name andy rubin was the founder of android uh so with that we'll come to end of today's session i hope it was informative and helpful i hope you all have got a rough idea at least how the code flow occurs before treble and after treble where exactly hidl is placed what are the different um, folders which were introduced from oreo onwards thanks everyone i'll see you all soon in my next session until then everyone stay home stay safe bye